Good afternoon from Cape Town here at AfricaCom 2024. I'm here together with Thomas Domke, CEO at GitHub. Hello, Thomas. Nice hey. to meet you. Nice. Thanks so much for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. Africa is a very young continent. Majority of the population is below 30. So we see, with the, on the horizon, we see AI, a big buzzword in the industry, mm -hmm. but we also see that we need to empower more younger people for coding, software development, mm -hmm. etc. So how do you see that trend of AI and how do you think it can help to empower mm -hmm. the people, especially where we need it? Yeah. We're very excited about the opportunity here in South Africa and in Africa as a continent, whether it's Nigeria and Egypt or in South Africa, we see a growing number, a fast growing number of open source developers. South Africa has over 600,000 open source developers already. And if you actually look at the growth rates, those working on AI are growing twice as fast as those mm -hmm. working just on open source. So open source will be the foundation of that age of AI, the age of Copilot that is ahead of us. And Copilot and as a technology actually opens up, it democratizes access to software development. You know, many young kids are fascinated by their devices. Um, they have early access you know, to consume uh, okay. videos, um, photos, you know, TikToks. Yeah. And of course, it's really easy to create um, photos and, and videos. We want to make it as easy as possible to also enable, empower everyone to create software with the help of AI. So we could easily say the GitHub Copilot helps to unlock potential? Yeah. Absolutely, you know, if you think about it, most uh, folks here in Africa, most kids uh, don't grow up with learning English, they grow yeah. up with learning Afrikaans yeah. and, and, and all kinds of local languages, similar how I grew up uh, with German first. And so when they are six, seven, eight, nine years old, you know, they're much more fascinated about creating software and Copilot helps them to do that. They can ask, you know, Copilot in their language, how do I build a little game? How do I build a, a small application? How do I build a, a website? And it gives them the code together with a language that they can understand and they can keep it and I think actually kids understand that better uh, than adults that you know if I get a wrong answer from the model if the image or the code doesn't look exactly how I want it to be I can just keep asking you yeah, know I can yeah, just yeah. keep asking him iterating I can you know kids are great at asking lots and lots of no, questions parents sure. are usually running out of patience or running out of you know uh, daylight, daylight. Uh, AI doesn't and so I think that's giving uh, you know this this movement of um, um, uh, software development of open source developers new energy and you know the last thing that I want to call out here is that, you know, it doesn't matter anymore uh, uh, whether your parents actually know th something about the technology. It doesn't matter whether you find a teacher or a friend. Yeah. AI is always there for you. Yeah. You know, over, it, it, it doesn't run out of patience. It doesn't yeah. run out of answers. And so it really empowers everybody uh, to, to achieve more. All right. Thank you. What do you think how it uh, affects the, let's say, software development industry? How will it affect, let's say, efficiency and as well cost? If you look at software technology over the last you know, decades, you, you see that we have always increased the complexity of the systems to ultimately you know, drive forward human progress, to create new economic opportunities, but also to find new productivity improvements, yeah. you know, to connect the world when, when living you know, uh, on the other side of the planet. You can now uh, connect with your family through, through something you know, like, like Instagram, or you can FaceTime them, you can send them emails. That wasn't possible uh, even, even 30 years ago. We are much more connected and enabled by software, it's much easier yeah. you know, to, to do, get your job done from your home, from a coffee shop, from here, from uh, Africa.com. And I think you know, if you fast forward what that could be, um, maybe whether it's solving climate change, uh, whether it's sending you know, uh, uh, helicopters to Mars, and, and maybe you know, we're finding ways to, to also uh, you know, solve cancer or diabetes uh, or malaria, I think yeah. that's where the opportunity lies and that's where we should all be very excited about what's, what's to come. Did you just said more kind of a long-term outlook and how yeah. it could affect but what do you see from a short-term perspective how let's say yeah. positive view about it that it will be a game changer at yeah. some point especially in areas here where we need to empower yeah. people especially from yeah. a digital economy perspective short term you know if we just look back for the last um, uh, two three years since copilot uh, was launched into preview in june 2021 we have oh. seen developers being more productive we have seen case studies uh, where developers with copilot are um, 55 okay. percent faster than those without copilot but we've also seen developers clearly telling us whether it's in surveys or whether it's on social media that they love using the product 
product, you know, it reduces the energy that they need to do repetitive tasks, that increases their fulfillment, you know, it increases their energy. And I think that's so exciting about AI. So as we look forward, we believe we can, you know, get more, uh, um, we get, can get more South African or African people in general into the software development profession. We can get more people, you know, excited about just creating software for themselves. Um, little micro apps, we, we recently announced a product called GitHub Spark that lets you exactly do that and you write little prompts and, and you can create a, a little tic-tac-toe game or an app that tracks the allowance of your kids. And you can, of course, you know, write more prompts um, to refine that. You can see the source code. I think, you know, that's what we are we're striving for, that we use AI in the short term to, to help both professional software developers and anyone that wants to, to build little applications to do exactly that. So it will just accelerate the whole industry? It will accelerate the industry and look, you know, we have always, as software development industry, uh, looked into more productivity improvements. You know, when I was a kid, um, there was still punch cards and, and you had to understand really the intricacies of a Commodore 64 and then a later a, a PC and know how much memory it has and whether it has a hard drive and, or a cassette tape and how fast or slow this goes. You know, and then fast forward 10 years and open source, you know, started to rise with the internet and all of a sudden we, we are all using open source components and we're building on top of these components components in the operating system and the container technology to now where we have AI and AI is really like Lego blocks and yeah, you, yeah. you have uh, AI agents that helps you to assemble those Lego blocks into, into much bigger uh, creations because software has gotten so complex that developers really need to move up the abstraction ladder. They need to have more and more AI systems because the systems that we're building, you know, the, the software that we're building is so complex, we can't really do it without any AI anymore. Mm -hmm. So it makes the whole thing just more efficient? More efficient and really more enjoyable. You know, the way I like to think about AI is like the dishwasher uh, or the vacuum in your home, right? Like they take away the work that you don't want to do. So, so you see the result quicker. You see the result, well, and you can focus on the things that are really enjoyable. You yeah. know, most developers actually love to code yeah. and they don't have to do all the other things like okay. writing tests and, and analyzing uh, bugs and, and engaging in, uh, uh, in customer support and all these things that are also part of developer life. Let's go back to writing code, exploring our creativity, taking our ideas and getting them into production faster. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. It was very insightful. I'm Thank you so much for having to me. Hear more yeah. from you. Yeah. Thank you. There was Tech Africa News from Africacom 2024. You can find more on techafricanews.com. <laughs>